What makes a good disciple? I have um, a list of things I uh, want to share on things for, in my opinion, what would make a good disciple. So the discipler is the one that is discipling you. They're the discipler. Or you would be the discipler if you are discipling someone else. Um, you are the disciple when you are receiving discipleship from your discipler. So there's the discipler and then there's the one that's being discipled. The actual, um, are you um, going through discipleship? I don't know if I'm making myself clear. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I currently have two disciplers and uh, we go through a um, weekly and bi-weekly appointed um, time where I'll share things that I'm going through and they will give me biblical feedback. Um, and the feedback is all word of God. That's the difference between coaching, mentorship, advice, um, um, any other thing. Very similar um, um, in their approach and how they um, um, relate to you. Um, except that all that they're sharing is um, biblical for truth. And so the word of God isn't an opinion. Um, it is all truth. And so uh, once you, uh, the discipled or discipler, uh, once you, um, the discipled and the discipler have established that they um, believe that the word of God is all God breathed and um, believe that the Bible is 100% true, then they move on um, in the direction on how to apply this truth to uh, the discipled, uh, to the life of the disciple. And um, the training, the, the entire path of discipleship <clears throat> is a training to be not just a reader of the word, but a doer of the word. <clears throat> so, uh, what makes a good disciple? This video is on what makes a good disciple. So, uh, number one would be to honor the time that the discipler is, um, that you have uh, asked the discipler to uh, meet up with you or to have that Zoom call or just call over the phone. Honor that time. Respect their time. And you can respect their time in many ways. Reverence can come in many ways. Um, and that can come by knowing uh, more of your discipler. Um, but just um, honoring the time, making that appointment, um, taking out the time before you uh, meet your appointment to prepare yourself with notes, with prayer, with um, just fresh air, preparing your mind to go into the mode of listening um so um one making the appointment and making the, that appointment on time uh number two would be um uh be maybe like um one a but i want to separate it so listening so um i think it's psalm 90 that says be quick to listen and slow to speak so in the beginning of my uh, disciple, um, in the in the relationship with um, my initial, my first um, discipler, I remember telling her all my problems and uh, what I what was primary at that time, and sharing how what this person did, and it was really just a relationship. What this person did, and what how and how they did it, and how it made me feel. Blah, 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 blah. And my goal was to get my discipler to understand why I was hurt and why I was acting the way I acted and responded. But in discipleship, you will come out of responding um, and more so um, you will enter into um, being equipped to um, be a leader <laughs> in so many different um, groups and organizations and 
um, connections that you are um, attached to, that you find yourself assigned to, and having to be the uh, the demonstrator of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that's the that's what you're you're discipling toward. That's what you're training toward. And so um, who wants to do that if they're not wanting to be more mature in their um, spiritual walk? Who would want to enter into discipleship if they're not wanting to grow in um, fervor in their uh, discernment, in their wisdom? So if you're not ready for any of that, then don't take on um, uh, in leadership, definitely, uh, because you, you're coming out of just being a listener of the word and then um, enter in, entering into developing into in developing into um, your I want to say pr progressing, you're uh, advancing into a different stage, which is now to um, be accountable and um, sh share what you what you've learned and what you're learning, and don't wait until you're fully mature because that day will never come until you're fully complete and fully perfect. Um, but um, uh, remember that there are men, men and women, family members and friends connected to you right now, assigned to you right now, so that you could be, um, turn around and be a soldier in the army that advances the purpose of um, our Heavenly Father. So um, in your path of discipleship, um, a good way... Uh, uh, to be a good disciple is to uh, work on a teachable spirit. And yes, that looks like listening and being on time, uh, but less of that and more so um, open, open mindedness to the truth and understanding that your logic and your reasoning is coming from the world and 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 the wisdom that you're gaining is coming from the creative the of not the creator of the universe, creator of the galaxy, creator of existence. And so uh, humble yourself. And then last would be to learn and discern the origin of discipleship and culture. All right, thank you. Bye.